that would. But I shall think of you too. They're in the bakery, whacking them out. Fantastic name. You make me wrap some, I flog them. Manufacture and distribution. Inextricably linked. That. <laughs> Who's been eating garlic then? Cool, Reg, have you been buying salami flavoured toothpaste? <laughs> Capsules, isn't it? I'll them on my muesli. Garlic on your muesli? And I've what I like for my breakfast, can't I? I don't see my breakfast is any concern of yours. Well, it is when Ted and I have to share these restricted confines of a morning with you and the Tang of the Orient. Garlic on your muesli, what a bowlful. No wonder the windows are steamed up. They're not steamed up, they're melting. <laughs> Excuse me for looking good and feeling fit. <laughs> Pardon me for starting the day right. Now, why are you mainlining her garlic anyway? He's turning into a junkie. <laughs> Good for your art, isn't it? Yes, you see, gives that extra turn of speed. Spurt, see? Yes. Me and some of the lads from the social, well, we're up for a marathon. Yes, I've been club colours done and everything. Blue and white. Well, you're going to get a bit warm, aren't you? Running around in your blue-green coats. It's the Gabardine areas, isn't it? Dirty Mac, white plimsolls and a quick flash. <laughs> What time's the next one then? I'll ring up the speaking clock, shall I? <laughs> Sorry I was a bit late, Mr. Taylor. Oh, never mind, Harry. Can't be helped. Now, we're going to start you off on the B area here, which, as you can see, is the west part of the town and the section south of the river. It's not a bad area. A bit rough round there, maybe, but... Yes, I know. I live there. <laughs> yes, well, it's not all like that, of course. Oh, no, 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 no. You're right, Mr. Taylor. I mean, it is that rough in patches, it's corrugated. It makes wet and dry look like writing paper. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're familiar with the area, Harry. Now, this is Don, Harry, whose round you'll be taking over. Harry was in production, Don, so he's no stranger to the bakery world. But no doubt you're familiarising with the ins and outs of band sales. How'd you do there? Harry. That's right. <coughs> Don, yeah, yeah. pleased to meet you. Uh, Don will take you round initially, Harry, and then later next week we'll let you out on your own. OK? <laughs> but I must dash now. Carry on. <laughs> well then, Harry, whenever you're ready. Go. Yep. Right, Don. Right. Uh, whenever you're fit, then. Hey. Oh. Okay, well, to start with, I think we'd better get loaded up. Uh, Don, can I just ask you a question, like, um, you know, I mean, why, why did you leave this job, if it's such a good job, like? Oh, there's nothing wrong with the job, no. I'm leaving to go professional. Oh, well, aren't we in your status, eh? Topping up a notch. I'm in a group, you see, me and some mates. We're the Yokohama Doughboys. <laughs> The Yoker Armour Doughboys. <laughs> Is that a fact? Country and Western. Well, I expect you've got a lot of engagements lined up then, you know, tied you over. Oh, yeah, no problem there. Couple of nights local, then three weeks cabaret on the Isle of Mull. That's very confident, say. You lack like Country and Western, do you, Harry? Yeah, yeah, I'd like a good pick. I've modelled myself on Jim Reeves. Oh. <laughs> but you don't want to do that too closely, do you? Why is that? Well, he's passed on, hasn't he? <laughs> Shall we load up the van? <laughs> Here's another thing, Harry. Every time you go out, you have to fill in the order sheets for delivery the next day. Right, Dan, I'll do that. <clears throat> These are the order sheets here, Harry. These are the order sheets with the orders on them. Yeah, right, Dan. And it is on these sheets, you see, that they write down the orders. Yes, Dan. So, if they have written five here, you see, under the column-headed Krusty Cobbs, Brown, under customer's name, and under address of retail outlet, foot, 42 Main Road. What that will mean, you see, Harry, is 
five crusty cobs going to Brown's a 42 main road. The little system you got there. Whoever invented that obviously knew what he was doing. And also, Harry, similarly, you see, if they have put a seven against French sticks, that would mean also deliver seven French sticks. Quite easy, really. Just don't let yourself get discouraged. There's two late orders here. You make that one out, I'll do this one. Would this be uh, wrapped or unwrapped? <laughs> no, that's not wrapped, that one, Harry. That's unwrapped. You can always tell the wrapped ones. <laughs> oh. I might get the hang of it eventually, eh? Good van here, Harry. Seen good service. I've spent a few bob on this one. Have you? But here, Don, I mean, why have you spent a few bob on a firm's van? They don't they maintain it? Oh, yeah. But I paid for the extras. Huh? What extras? Ah, like having a sunroof put in. <laughs> you spent your own money having a sunroof put in a firm's van. Oh, they didn't mind. They were very good about it. <laughs> Trailers for sale or rent. Rooms to let 15 cents. Do I do? Do I do? I'll be a do. Whack a do. Whack a do. I'll be a do. Whack a do. You like Roger Miller, do you, Harry? Yeah, don't do it. He's, he's all right. Break a one four. <laughs> break a one four. Here, Tom, somebody's in here saying break a one four. Ah, oh, that's the CB, Harry. I had it installed. Come back with a window, good buddy. You got the doughboy here. <laughs> well, don't go the sunroof, Harry. Let a little fresh air in. A bit of sanity in as well. <laughs> I'm sorry about the sunroof. Oh, don't worry, it's covered. No, I just wanted just to... Just hang on a second, uh, maybe. It's just this, Harry. If you double up on the trays and can manage to carry two at a time instead of one, you'll be able to do your deliveries a lot quicker that I way. I know that. I'm doing that. I'm tripling up there, Doc. That's just a little tip there, you see, Harry. Make the job easier for yourself. Save yourself a journey. Doubling up, we call that. Doubling up. Just give it a try next time. I'm tripling up. Um, tripling up, Doc. Sugar in the morning, sugar in the evening, sugar at supper time, be my... You know what my wife likes to say, Harry, me being the driver and all? She says, she says, she's the woman behind the man behind the wheel. <laughs> nice, Don, yeah. Here. That's my little lady over there as well. Kind of the woman behind the man behind the sunglasses. <laughs> sure. 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 Sure.
Shirley! Where did you get those sunglasses from? Oh, uh, Johnny here lent them to me. Hi. Hello. <laughs> You two look like a couple of sadists in here. If anyone's black leather gloves and gumboots, you could join the Gestapo. <laughs> what are you sunglasses for? Well, it's the uh, Roy Orbison Appreciation Society. <laughs> Be window shopping there, love. Eh? No. No, not really. Just swandering round. Better get trucking, I'm afraid, Harry. So long. To you, then. Then's bridal gown. <laughs> You should be grateful I wasn't looking in a baby wear window. That would really have been a crime reward. It was the way you were doing it, though, Cheryl. Slinking round that precinct, sneaking looks at trousseaus. Well, if me looking in shop windows interferes so much with your peace of mind, maybe you should buy me some horses blinkers and I could wear them with a lampshade. You know, Harry, a sort of chastity belt for the head. <laughs> Not as though I don't believe in marriage, Cheryl. It's just that, well, I think we ought to save it for our future when we're more mature. More mature? If I get any more mature, I'll have gone off. I can further pass my sell by date. I'll be going up the aisle with money off stickers and brushing mold off my shoulders. That's not true, Cheryl. A marriage with all the best will can still fail, love. I mean, sex and things, you've got to be sure. I thought we were sure. Well, if we're not sure, we certainly seem to do a lot of checking. <laughs> well, look at Reggie and his wife, eh? They're running out of that guidance council. It's like a pair of revolving doors. He's been there so often, they've probably named an inadequacy after him. Harry, you take us for granted. We never go out anymore, you never express yourself, nothing. Oh, maybe you're right, yeah, we haven't been out a lot, have we? All right, then. We'll go out this week, eh? Slap oh. up the evening, all the trimmings, eh? Yeah. I'll book somewhere, uh, how about the kebab house? You like something on a skewer, don't you? Oh, well, no, thank you. Last time I went to that kebab house, I lost all my fillings there. Oh, yeah. I lost my dinner on the way home as well. <laughs> right, anyway, I'll get something special Friday night. Yeah, All right. Mm. Well, uh, Thomas, like mild weather out there tonight. It's not bad, is it? <laughs> it was, eh? See, your boys are doing well in the division, eh? They're leaping up. Oh, I'm sorry, no bowls is your game, isn't it? <laughs> They're painting and throwing some tidy woods, are they, eh? You know, one of the great problems is that game is to, uh, is how you get those green stains out the knees of your crown. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, uh, I'll be off then. I've got to go up to Mrs. Bennett's, you know, my old teacher. Mm -hmm. She's going to Mensa test for the IQs. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Bye, love. Bye. Right. I'll just explain the guidelines, Harry, so there won't be any cribbing, hmm? No, there certainly won't be any cribbing, miss. There will not be any cribbing at all. Good. Because from what I remember of you as a pupil, Harry, the essays on your cuffs were frequently a good deal longer than the essays on your exam papers. <laughs> Should have made us wear pullovers, miss. Couldn't write a wool, could we? <laughs> so... <clears throat> What are your views on sex education then, miss? <laughs> There's an the next teacher. What are your views on sex education in school? Well, I, I think it's a good idea, Harry, on the whole. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, uh, there's one thing I say before we start, miss. Uh, now, I know you won't accept any money for this, but I want you to know that if there's anything you ever need doing around here, like shelves horizontaled up or a few nails knocked in the wall or something, <laughs> I'm happy. Thank you, Harry. I'll bear that in mind. Right, right. Well, uh, ready when you are. Bang the gong. Right. I'll time each section and warn you 30 seconds before each part is up. So, let us start now. Eyes down. I see no tea wagons done. Should we find a, a lay-by with a cup, eh? No. Quiet's better, Harry. Oh, right. Seeing as you'll be on your own from tomorrow and, well, probably we won't be seeing each other again or get another chance, so... 
I'd like to take you into the bath. <laughs> There's a couple of things, Harry, I'd like to show you. Uh, this, um, Yokohama Doughboy's musical band of yours, is it an all-male ensemble? Perks, Harry. Perks. Oh. Perks? You like Johnny Cash, do you, Harry? Don't know. Plays in prisons, doesn't he? <laughs> now, there's one or two little ways, you see, Harry, of making up your money. What well, kind of supplement your income and increment your earnings, eh? Trade secrets, you see, Harry. Now, now, there's three basic fiddles. And the first one is the stales. <laughs> stales? Stale returns from one customer, you see. You deliver it as fresh to the next, but they're marked down on the sheet as returns, which lets you sell the real fresh on the side, which is money straight into your pocket. <laughs> you see, yeah. And the next one is the damage. The damage, eh? <laughs> <laughs> what do you do that for? You just chop that loaf. Well, it's damaged now, isn't it? <laughs> None too sprightly. Right, so we list this one as damaged, twist it up a little, and it's good as new. So you sell it as whole, though it's down as damaged, and it's more money straight into your pocket. So how much do you make at this, then? Ooh, often as much as, ooh, 50, 60 pence a week. 60 pence? Now, this is the best one. Every time you go out, make sure you've got a few of these. They're extra wrappers. Mm -hmm. What do we do with them, then? This is top fiddle, Harry. Big money. Best bendy. Now, what we do, you see, is we untwist the other loaves, extract a slice or two from each, put them in these wrappers, and in that way, you see, we make up extra loaves of bread. It take hours to do that, Don. Perks, though, Harry. Perks. Here. I got one already made up. <laughs> different colours, darling. There's brown, there's, there's white, there's all sorts in there. And the slices aren't even the same size. And, well, where's the end bits? Where's the stumps? Well, you just got to manage what you can about the end bits, because there aren't enough to go around. <laughs> Looks like a rainbow, Don. I mean, nobody's going to buy a loaf like that. Contacts, Harry. You'd be surprised. Hotels, sandwich bars, they'll buy anything. Here, we'll do a few. Nothing to make a fortune, are we? Perks, though, Harry. You're entitled to your perks. <laughs> so there's crimes going on in bad houses, Harry. Why? All those little rackets, you know, the stales and the like. It's not the point, though, is it, Ted? It's just beachcombing, that. Metal detector mentality. Tell you, the human race spends more time grubbing about than maggots. Well, there's nothing wrong with perks. I mean, you've got to have your backhanders. It's only fair. It's not the point, though, is it? I'd cheerfully embezzle a million, but I ain't having my beak tweaked for a quid. <laughs> no, will you take my brother-in-law, for instance? He works at the hospital as a porter. He's got it all round his house. Swabs, dressing gowns, towels, rubber gloves. <laughs> mm, well, I'm surprised he don't go the old hog and bring back a patient and two or three nurses. <laughs> but it's perks. Oh, and them, uh, you know them scopes they got with little lights on the end for looking up people's two dolls? And <laughs> yeah. Well, he's got one of them and all. What's he got one of them for? Well, he keeps pigeons, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Have you had your Mensa results yet? No, they must still be marking them. Yeah. 
ever seen this? <laughs> My brother-in-law gets me this for repotting. <laughs> dear, oh dear, I'm surprised this fellow was even capable of folding the test before putting it in an envelope. Two for the post there, Meg, please, but don't confuse them. The names are the same. Both Lumsden. This one's a genius, and that one is nothing short of a halfwit. <laughs> Thank you, Persman. Uh, this must be the Mensa test result. <laughs> Good God. I'm a moron. <laughs> be positive, be confident, be cheerful, be friendly. Be positive, be confident, be cheerful. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. You must be the uh, bloke who's just taken over this round. Yes, I'm Harry, your new man. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> I wonder if I could broach the subject. Yes, of course. Uh, have a look at this now, see, I suppose it's all here. I was wondering if you thought of enhancing your range of products, extending your gamut of goods on offer, extrapolating your range, to bring in the uh, impulse buyers. You know, eye catchers. <laughs> I'm not sure, I, I don't know really. Because uh, we, well, that is I, are on a bit of a sales drive in your area. Oh, yes? And we were wondering whether you might be amenable to incrementing your allocations. Uh, no, thank you for offering me. We're carrying as many perishables as we can at the moment. Uh... And yet, uh, the product is its own best advertisement, don't you think? I mean, it kind of puts stripes on its own shoulders and thus promotes itself. <laughs> so, yes. So, how about an additional farmhouse? Or some extra tea cakes? <laughs> Perhaps you could be prevailed upon to tackle a few more bloomers. Right, uh, yes, I'll have, uh, I'll have another package of, uh, finger rolls. Uh, three, three or four. And, uh, extra rolls. Tell you what, Mr. Gower, why don't we notate your requirements by just double your usual amount straight across the board? Double? No, no, I don't mind my, my, uh, my customers will mind it. I'm sure with the right incentive and promotion, Mr. Gower, you could more than double your sales. All you have to do is convince your customers that eating bread is good for their health and that they'll buy more if they know what's good for them. <laughs> Look, I'm an old man. My wife's not very well. There's not much money in the till, but I'll uh, tell you what, we can it all in, eh? Double? Double, treble, yes. <laughs> and, uh, I've got to make an important phone call. Positive, cheerful, confident, friendly. I'm a salesman. Can I help you, officer? Right. I look. Ow! There's all the sorrows. But they're nothing to do with me, officer. I mean, I'm standing there smiling with a, a crack on my face like a split-level oven. And he thinks I'm sucking. I mean, couldn't even put the wind up a lilo. And what's the point of being an hyperbunce if people misconstrue your every meaning, eh? I couldn't even get my own production line job back, neither. Why not? Youth opportunities. Some youth saw his opportunity and took my job. <laughs> you've got there. Written your last will and testament, have you? <laughs> Probably my Mensa results. It was on the uh, at stand before we left home. <laughs> you surely haven't got that much excitement in your life. You don't need to open your letters. <laughs> you lie me. What's wrong? No good. No, 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 no. Well, I mean, they admit I'm a genius and they want me to join them, but... So what? What's the matter? And they want 15 quid a year subscription. <laughs> you know, you can't even be bleeding clever without parting with money. You better ask your Shirley to break into a piggy bank. Let me sure. Should be expecting my imminent arrival in a doorway. I'll see you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mate. 
Yeah, sorry, but something came up to you. What happened to you? Not that. I got arrested. <laughs> arrested? Yeah. Oh, I got fired too. You've been having a busy day of it then. I'll tell you about it later on, love. Tonight we're going to have an impeccable night. I've got tickets for something really special. You have? Oh, Harry. Cavalry. Dinner dance. You're better than that, my love. Personal acquaintance. We will even get backstage afterwards. Oh. Tonight, Cheryl, you and me, we're going to the Tennessee rooms in the Ellen Chickens to see the Yokohama Dough Boys. <laughs> Yeah, Don, at the bakery's got this group, you know, it's kind of country and western bakery style, like. <laughs> Don't you like country and western, show? Not. Not a great deal. Not a lot, no. Cheryl? Shirley! What have I done now? 